Welcome to the Mixed Reality Toolkit Quick Start Guide, where we're going to go through how to get started with the Mixed Reality Toolkit and start building your awesome Mixed Reality experiences. In this Quick Start Guide, we're going to have a quick overview of what is the Mixed Reality Toolkit and how it can benefit you building your Mixed Reality solutions. How, what uh, tools you're going to need to get started with your Unity project. Installing and, get and running your first scene. And some quick tips along the way as well as to talk about what it means to be beta. And now this is only a quick start guide. We're not going to go in depth into all the different features, capabilities and options with the toolkit. Simply what you need to know to get up and running and hit play. Now the Mixed Reality Toolkit is an evolution of what was the original Holo Toolkit provided by Microsoft, which was originally aimed at providing HoloLens and sort of later on the immersive style projects. Seeing that the market needed more, and be able to have more of a cross-platform nature to it, the Mixed Reality Toolkit itself was born, created from the ground up to be a cross-platform, multi-platform solution with performance by default, ensuring the fact that every time you run your project, you get the same level of performance you would need from every single solution. The framework is entirely componentized so, so that each option can be actually interchanged with other features and other facilities. All configuration has been centralized to prevent you having to hunt through your project for where a lot of different things are configured. There's now a central place where you can just set up everything. And it also has a brand new architecture, which leverages from a lot of the modern patterns and new ways to actually build projects in Unity the right way. You can at this point in time actually have the whole toolkit and the mixed reality toolkit installed in your project at the same time. There's no problem doing that. But our advice is Mixed Reality Toolkit should be used in brand new projects alone. If you're still managing a Holo Toolkit project, then it's probably best to stick with the Holo Toolkit for the time being and then move up to the Mixed Reality Toolkit when you have the need. Now that's enough talk about the project. The best way to show you is actually just quick over and flip into Unity and start building. No smoke and mirrors here. We're going to start with a complete brand new project and go straight from the beginning, everything you need to do. So I'm going to have my new... Mixed Reality Awesome Project. Now with Unity 2018, you also get a lot of templates in here. Now the version of Unity we recommend for using with the Mixed Reality Toolkit is Unity 2018.2.13 and above. Uh, there were issues with earlier 2018.2 builds, so it's best to be aware and stay with the latest 2018.2 builds. The project will also work with 2018.3 when it comes about and beyond. Now I'm going to select the 3D, 3D with extras here simply because it gives us something else in the scene to look at while we're building our project. These other projects, however, I would not recommend using. The Mixed Reality Toolkit is not yet built to actually support any of the, high, the script or render pipelines or even the VR project that rec Unity recommends simply because of the way that project is set up. So I'm going to go ahead and create my project. And there we go, Unity is now started. Now as you can see, we've got a nice little three sample scene that Unity provides. And the first thing we're going to do is simply import the actual toolkit. So assets, import package, create custom package. And I'm going to download the beta one makes like toolkit asset. Now this might not be the final name of the asset when it's actually released this later this week. But here's what we have today. So the project comes in and you have several folders that are actually pulled in as part of the toolkit, all of which are completely optional except for the toolkit itself. Uh, we have the toolkit, we have an SDK folder which actually has all the runtime libraries or scene elements they have in there. And we also have some example assets and demos which you can feel free to delete if you wish. So we're gonna import those in. Now when you first import the package, if your project's not set up correctly, we will actually prompt to do this for you. This is completely optional. You can make note of the settings and do these yourselves later. But for saving time, I'm simply gonna hit apply. Now the only item not mentioned here is also upgrading to .NET 4 because we use a lot of .NET 4 language features which shouldn't have any impact on your project. Now the Unity is finished reloading. We can now see we have a new option here called the Mixed Reality Toolkit. Now ignore the build window for now because we'll come into that in a future video. And all I'm going to simply do is hit configure. This is going to set up our scene ready for use for the actual Mixed Reality Toolkit. We've actually got the toolkit itself with its configuration in, which I'll go through in another video. And we also set up this play space, which orientates the camera and the controllers and everything else in the scene. You can remove this place if you wish, but we highly recommend you just take the default setup. 
Now you notice here that when I initially start, my camera obviously is at zero, 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 which is where you should always start a mixed reality experience. Because that the toolkit and the framework and even the runtime and the SDKs will change and orientate your head from where it is from the zero point. So to adjust this, I'm going to simply play my scene. So at the moment it's rotated 90 degrees. I'm going to undo that. And I'm also going to move my scene across. Now it's key to note, you don't move the camera. That's always going to be at the origin. You move your scene around your camera to where your player wants to start. So that looks a good place. And I'm simply going to hit play. Nothing else. I've done nothing else. The Mixed Reality Toolkit has already configured everything for me. Now, the first thing you also notice that this is in standalone mode. This is already running in Steam VR. And once the project comes from running, I can take my headset and through the editor window, you can actually see what I'm looking at. And that's it. Straight away, I'm already running. If I then go and turn on the controller, as soon as the, the ASDK and Unity detect it, it's simply going to appear in my scene. Now we provide a default gizmo asset so you can easily see and orientate how your control looks in the scene. And this also comes with pointer support for looking around and also teleportation. But as you can see at the moment, I can't actually do anything because this is still just a virtual world. So let's, do, let's add some quick interactivity into our scene. My controller down and stop running. Okay, so first thing we'll need to do is in our example scene in the workshop set, I'm going to find the ground and I'm simply going to add a box collider to it. Simplest collider I can have. And in mixed reality or VR, in fact, the simpler the better. So that's going to simply bound my ground. For a bit of fun, I'm also going to add some interactivity to this workbench that you can see here. So again, I'm also going to add the box collider. And we're also going to add one of the, S the current SDK components that we have installed in the scene, which is the interactable highlight. Now, there's only a few SDK co components can be available at beta, but more are coming very quickly. So keep an eye on the project for as we add them. In here, this is simply what we're going to do is the fact that as I look or interact with this workstation, it's going to actually change its color. Now, in the SDK, we provide you a whole bunch of assets that you can use. Feel free to use these. These are fully redistributable on any project because this is that you're all using the MIT license, so you can use these to your heart's delight. So I'm going to set my highlight color and then let's see if a transparent and transparent lime for my overlay. And that's it. Nothing else. I've just added some colliders and then I'm going to run my project again. Now you notice for by default, now you notice by default we get gaze. And also if I activate my pointer, I also get pointer support as well. You notice that I'm now actually also interacting with the ground. And by we also get, it's fully for, featured with the project, it's teleportation support. And also if you watch the cursor, as I move the thumbstick or touchpad around, I also get orientation support as I maneuver around the scene. I can't stir the paint right now, it's running dry because it's not interactable. That'd be fun. But... This is meant to be a, a multi-platform project. So let's also give this a whirl in Windows. So if I go back to my build settings and simply switch my platform, I'm also going to close Steam VR because we don't need to use that anymore. And now that I switch up to Windows platform, I'll first check to make sure that I'm actually running with virtuality enabled. Close that. If I actually try to use my project, the prompt will come up to actually enable this if you haven't already. And then I'm going to hit play. Now if I switch over to my Mixed Reality Portal Viewer, you can see exactly the same project with exactly the same functionality. A little bit jerky because that's the preview window. You can see it here in Unity. And also with the same controller support, working exactly the same way without changing a single thing. The whole toolkit is aimed around you focusing time on building your project and not having to worry about all the different SDKs and all the, how, the way, how the way they work and how they're configured. And there's your quick start into actual the Mixed Reality Toolkit. 
Now in its current status, we're aiming for to release the first beta by November. Uh, that's likely to be November 1st. And we're aiming for feature parity with the Hollow Toolkit on release, with also a load of other extras and other features bundled in. So this has been your Mixed Reality Toolkit. We hope you enjoy and start experimenting and start building a new project. Any questions or issues, pop over onto GitHub. We welcome everyone's feedback in how to build on this and move forward. Thanks for watching, and I shall see you around.